Once upon a roof, there were these mythical beings crafting bits with such finesse that even the most rhythmically challenged creatures couldn't resist a dance. They were the unsung wizards of melodies, toiling away in their hidden studios, waving their wands to arrange the biggest songs of the land. Welcome to Screen Credits. Today we'll be counting down the top 10 Nigerian music producers shaping the Afrobeat sound. Spells on the beat. Number 10. Spells. In the realm of Nigerian music, a master arose, going by Benjamin Obaje, but weaving enchanting melodies as spells. A decade-long genius in Afropop, hip-hop, and R&B, our hero spells danced to the rhythms of success, conjuring beats for the likes of Tiwa Savage, the Mighty Whiskey, and a host of other notable artists. His love for this genre ran deep, so deep that you could swear he had a secret portion for crafting those infectious tunes. But the tale of his triumph doesn't end there. In the year of 2013, he sought a height no other could match, winning the coveted Producer of the Year Award at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards. Oh, the applause and cheers that echo through the music hall, acknowledging his outstanding performance and creations. I love you. Give me love, I never see you. Number 9. Idi Kabasa in the early 2010s, the elusive musical talent Idi Kabasa founded the legendary Coded Tunes record label, which mesmerized fans by signing extraordinary artists of that era. Idi Kabasa, the musical sorcerer himself, weaved Afrobeats with the whispers of foreign pop, creating melodies that echoed through the land. With every energy he put, he ventured into uncharted soundscapes, like a musical alchemist in search of the perfect blend. Yet, as with all tales, life's twists and turns took their toll. The rhythm of his career danced in an unpredictable on and off mode as he faced personal struggles that cloaked his path in shadows. But fear not, for our hero embarked on a quest to reclaim his musical throne. In 2019, he conjured a spellbinding tract named Totori. Featuring the charms of Olamide and Whiskey, the word fell under its vibe, basking in its glorious exposure. Alas, though it shone brightly, it wasn't enough to fully rekindle his musical flame. Yet, we cannot deny the influence ID Kabasa brought to the realm of melodies. Number 8. Young Jan It's Young Jan, the wicked producer. With an intriguing twist of fate on his musical journey, John Saviors Undomboso, who's also called Young Jan, emerged. Picture this. One fine day, young John sat amidst a sea of music notes and pondered, what if I, the master of bits, dared to sing? Could I charm the melodies as I've charmed them before? And so, with a twinkle in his eye and a rhythm in his heart, the whole singing adventure began. But for the sake of our tale, Let's focus on Young John, the sorcerer of sounds. In the era of the 2010s, he left an unforgettable footprint on the Nigerian music landscape. Countless tracks bore his extraordinary touch, including the intriguing story for the gods by Olamide, a tune that fascinated the realm and enraptured its listeners. She said it's got to let go. She said she wants to bend the YBN family knew the magic he possessed. With a wave of his wand, uh, women bits, he cast a spell on the label, leaving an indelible mark on his sonic legacy. Now, let's talk about Young John's versatility. He's like a musical chameleon, changing colors and styles effortlessly. If your ears dare to catch a glimpse of his compositions, you know it's its handiwork, the enchanting signature sound that only he can conjure. Number 7. Fails Fails is that guy who has skills that can make you dance and shout with Imakulayo in excitement. During a recording session, Fails would catch the vibe of the performer and out of the blue, he would drop that signature ad-lib like a firecracker, turning songs into musical magic. 
Rudy Makulaya he'd go, and everyone's heart would skip a bit. Now, our boy Phil started his music journey at a tender age, and he joined forces with the legendary Heidi Kabasa at Coded Tunes. It was there that fate smiled upon him, and he crossed paths with none other than the king of the streets, Olamide. But it was in 2012 that Phil's star truly soared high. He cooked up a storm and whipped up one of Olamide's biggest hits of that time. First of all, <laughs> first of all, go down low, uh, go down low. First of all, go down low. The whole nation grooved to the rhythm of his beats, and the streets couldn't get enough of his magical touch. He wasn't just one hit maker for Olamide. Fields worked his magic with other Nigerian music stars too, including the queen herself, Tiwa Savage. <laughs> Number 6. Chris Bits Once in the buzzing streets of Ninja's music world, there emerged a budding record producer known as Chris Alvin Sunday. But hold up, he wasn't just any ordinary chap. Oh no, he was Chris Bits, the drummer boy. You'll think he had a drumstick on one hand and a magic wand in the other, cooking up bits that made the whole nation dance like it was Jollof Party Friday. Now, Chris Bits had a meter touch when it comes to producing bits, and he hit the jackpot with Techno's debut banger, Pana. Baby Pana, they say you like you all I get you all Baby Pana, anywhere that you go. I can follow you the go, baby pana. I say you like cassava, I get to be cassava. The beats were so infectious that even grandma couldn't resist doing the shoki dance in her Sunday best. With his beat making superpowers, Chris Beats teamed up with the finest artist in the kingdom, from the enchanting Yemi Alade to the swagalicious scales. Oh, and don't forget Lil Cash, the king of Shoki himself. The beats he created were like musical fireworks that lit up the whole city. But you know what took him to the stratosphere of stardom? It was that 911 banger featuring the sassy Yemi Alade and the harmonious harmonize. That song was like an Afrobeat rocket that shot him into the galaxy of fame. Number 5. Shizzy Make way for the one and only Oluwaseyi Akerele, better known as Shizzy, the musical wizard. This guy has been rocking the industry for over a decade, and his hit productions are like a tornado of musical goodness that sweeps us off our feet. Back in the days when Maya dropped Akaite in 2009, we didn't know that Shizzy was the mastermind behind those bits. Then maybe I might not have noticed that Akaite was so sexy. And let's not even get started on Dami Duro by the one and only Obio Davido. She's his magic touch turned that song into an instant banger that had us shouting Obio baddest at the top of our lungs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You recall the popular Peru by Fireboy? Well, hold your breath because Shizu was the producer behind that masterpiece. That song was a heat wave that took over the whole world, and Shizu is the one controlling the temperature. His impact is immense. Number four, Mastercraft. Ginika Chiku Nweke, who is popularly known as Mastercraft, is a musical sorcerer who stands as a true Nigerian legend in the realm of music production. His remarkable abilities are such that his bits seem to dance on their own, and his melodies resound with praises. You see, when he joined forces with Bracket and Whiskey for the Heat, girl, the music gods themselves couldn't stop grooving to the rhythm. It was like a musical fiesta, and everyone's hips 
moved like they had a mind of their own. But wait, there is more. This musical genius is not just a producer. He's also a DJ and a songwriter. It's like he's a whole musical package served in a bowl of creativity and topped with a sprinkle of talent. When Mastercraft work his magic, he blends traditional high life vibes with modern twists. And the result is a sound that leaves an indelible mark on every listener's soul. It's like he sprinkles musical fury dust everywhere he goes and we can't get enough of it number three legendary bits it's legendary beats legendary bits and music brothers who came together creating bits so hot that even the sun takes a break to cool off it all started with their magical portion of a song, Azonto. When they dropped that banger, the whole Afrobeat scene went wild. Even the hardest of hearts couldn't resist moving their waist like it was on an autopilot. And who was the chosen one to bring their beats to life? None other than the Afrobeat sensation himself, Whiskid. With legendary Bates production and Whiskid's voice, it was like a musical match made in heaven. Their beats were so fire, they attracted the attention of industry bigwigs faster than you can see Ninja Jalof. Number 2. Kido Let's talk about the musical chameleon Ayula Oladapo Abola, the man formerly known as Kido Minant, is now rocking the stage as Kido. This guy's beats are so hot that they make the dance floor ignite with energy, like a blazing inferno. You see, he worked his magic on Davido's hit, Fall, and that song took the whole music world by storm. It was like a musical tornado that swept everyone off their feet and onto the billboard charts, where it stayed put like a stubborn Nigerian goat refusing to move. Kido sprinkled some dancehall vibes into his Afrobeats recipe, creating a sound so irresistible that even the toughest critics couldn't resist shaking their waist and hold your breath for this one. He got a special invitation from Davido to join forces on a jaw-dropping project. Imagine getting a call from Davido, like getting a personal shout out from the Afrobeats king. It was like a dream come true for Kido. Kido, Kido, Kido Mina. So I ask her, what do you want from the bank? I just say come from the bank And I got money to throw it, throw it. So everybody who you owe it, owe it Rockin' that body, rockin' that body Rockin' that body for me Number 1. Don Jazzy Standing firm at number one is the mastermind Don Jazzy, the grandmaster of bits and the CEO of Madden Record Label. This guy's creativity is hotter than Nigerian pepper soup, and he rocks his suit like a fashionista on a runway. You see, he's like a musical mad scientist, blending Afrobeats with pop influences. And the result? It's like mixing pounded yam and a goosey soup. A mouth-watering combo of experience and creativity that will leave you wanting more. Don Jazz's musical journey started way back in 2002. And since then, he's been a musical time traveler, staying relevant and fresh like a just-opened bottle of soda. I mean, can we take a moment to appreciate his consistency? It's like he found the fountain of musical youth. He's a boss when it comes to producing albums and singles, and he has the midas touch. Everything he touches turns to musical gold. You know what they say, right? Now who finds talent, talent go find. Don Jazzy's got that good eye for spotting the next big thing in the music scene. He's the musical eagle, soaring high above, always on the lookout for the next musical star. You see, for Nigerian producers, they have a secret side hustle nobody saw coming. They can write songs and even burst into song like a choir on Christmas Day. Tell you what, the Nigerian music space is a carnival of facility and creativity. And these producers are the life of the party. And that will be all for today. Do well to share your thoughts in the comment section and let us know what you think about the list. Who you think should be on the list and who shouldn't. Please like and share this video. Also do well to subscribe to screen credits to avoid missing out on any content released on this channel until next time thanks for watching